I'm talking to a guy and I don't know why. Oh God, please don't let this be cancerous. Please don't let this be cancerous. Okay, what's up? So, um, yeah, thanks for having me on here. And uh, I don't know. Uh, you saw my email, which started talking about what I was going to talk about. I'm still not going to mention exactly what it is because I want to I want to establish some things first, just because I don't want to like have a thing where leading you to answer in a certain way, I guess. Or anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but uh, I've seen you oppose, you know, a good many people on the alt-right on YouTube and uh, people who would support, say, racist or sexist positions. Would that equate to a general blanket opposition to racism and or sexism and a desire to have, like, affirmative action policies, stuff to promote, like, a in general um you might cut off a little bit to but stuff to promote a what in general or to decrease prejudice i phrase it badly at first sorry oh um that's not like a goal but yeah i think that's probably something i'd like to do i think yeah um so deciding how i should order this <laughs> but so uh case that I guess the reason why I would say that position is interesting to me, given what you've said about your own moral systems, is that um, to be, you're, not, you're not likely to be in a situation in which you will be subject to systemic racism or sexism. Correct. So in a certain sense you could say that Oh, and this is going to reveal the connection, I think, to you, but fuck it. Um, but um, in a certain sense, that would mean that people who are subject to these things cannot reciprocate that sort of protection or assistance to you because you're not subject to that problem at all. Sure. Right. Yeah, so I that's right wait what you're okay wait are you using push to talk or voice activation i'm using voice activation i oh. think it's just a yeah maybe push to talk all right because your mic cuts out sometimes on some of your just like a couple of your words will get cut off in a sentence sure yeah i'll try that okay. um hold on voice and video settings let's do push to talk uh and my button will be a all right uh does that work yeah Okay, good. So, uh, you got what I was saying, like, well enough, right? You got, like, the gist? Yeah, I think so, that I, basically, people that I could be racist to will never be racist back to me? Uh, no, not, well, not exactly, because, again, we're, we're talking about, like, systemic racism rather than, like, individual racism, so... I mean, sure, you could have a situation which, like... Will never be meaningfully, I'm not trying to, like, get you on some dumb, but, like, meaningfully racist back to me, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. I probably agree with that, yeah. So, I think uh, that... Watch, well, actually, I'll start with the second point, maybe the third. Actually, no, I'm going to eliminate the second point entirely, because I think it's not immediately relevant. Um, But, and then also, uh, when it comes to global warming and uh, things like that, mm -hmm. uh, you would support trying to mitigate the effects of global warming, despite the fact that um, most of those effects will be seen far into the future. I don't know if that's true at this point, but I, I don't feel like that's innately true. I could be wrong on that, but it feels to me like we're definitely seeing very real effects of that like already today, or even like in the past season. Well, sure. I'm, yes, but they're possible to avoid for uh, many people, I would say. Probably, sure, yeah, okay, yeah, I can grant you that. But, um, so with those two things combined, uh, I, I think when you contrast, and this is where I'm going to bring up the veganism part. Okay. Uh, so in both those -Y -Y cases, you supported positions uh, of promoting the rights of and care for groups that cannot reciprocate 
that effort. Okay. And therefore, the position that you espoused in the uh, debate with Ask Yourself, that wasn't really a debate, but, you know, um, would therefore also be a little a little off from, I think, your, I guess, gut values, you sure, could say? So, here, so here's the difference, okay? Is that supporting all of these other groups of people in a roundabout way will ultimately, I would imagine, so, like benefit me to some extent. Being nice to animals will never, ever, in any conceivable way, benefit me. That's the difference. Okay, yeah, I, I can sort of see where that's going. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, I mean, let's see. I don't, I don't want this to end in, like, two seconds, because then, I don't know, or, like... Uh, I'll say that... Assistance to people that can't necess uh, necessarily directly reciprocate. Um, well, I mean, generally it improves the status of the entire country. I mean, from a personal level, people that are racist are oftentimes very boring to me. I generally don't like these types of people for a variety of personal reasons. Um, so I, I don't like to, to be in their presence or even to have them around or to be associated with them, even on like a national level. Like I would prefer it if racists would fuck off with my, even my country, I guess. Although I guess I don't really care necessarily about my country, but at least like my community and whatnot. So on, on a personal level, I don't want to associate with them. On an intellectual level, most of these people are very fucking stupid. So that's a reason why I don't really Really want to be associated with them so getting rid of that type of thought it benefits i think me there as well um, and then from a social level generally having a society where people are committing less crime and having to spend less of my money being locked up in jail and contributing more in terms of tax dollars and our status amongst the world in terms of like education right. um so i guess my first response to that is well that's true i think there are some initiatives that like exist in society currently that don't necessarily uh, benefit you that would still be part of like that larger umbrella there are still what wait say that again so uh for example it might benefit you to have like from like a i guess rising tide lifts all boats perspective yeah for sure um maybe like more accessible college for everyone for example yeah for sure but that doesn't apply equally across uh, all college majors. Would you agree? Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I value all sorts of knowledge. I think that there's just as much value in the arts as there is in like STEM or whatever. Sure, I guess. Um, but I, I would say in response to that, that you can pursue arts-based knowledge somewhat on your own time. I, I realize I may be opening a Pandora's box there, but... Yeah, I don't know if this is... I mean, like, technically you can do anything on your own time, right? Yeah, that's a fair point. Like, you could do computer programming or literally every... How do yeah. I use my, um... How do I use my big bullets, guys? I forgot the hotkey. Oh my god, sorry. It's all good. Somebody tell me! Oh, oh my God, it's Q. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I value I value all types of education. I'm not just like, oh, it has to be STEM or bust. All right. Um, I guess. Huh. Do you think that there's the same sort of social, I guess, learning net you could say, when it comes to like arts knowledge versus like scientific achievement, though? What do you mean by learning net? In, for example, if a person makes, like, if there's a scientific research facility that's developing the cure for, uh, the, the next cure for cancer, um, then if they discover that, that benefits you very, very clearly, I guess. Sure. And, but, like, versus people like other people discovering i guess you could say uh okay wait let's hold here let's back up because we're gonna get into really weird arguments that are gonna be impossible for you to defend because it sounds like where you're going here is let's say that i can allocate money to do different types of educational institutions one is involved in researching cancer the other is, the other is involved in researching art history you're gonna say that well i should only put money towards one because it has a more likely effect of benefiting me than the other right 
Well, I mean, if you're going for personal benefit. Yeah. From, so like this is so this is like a focus in the in the wrong area. We need to go to higher order truths in order to figure out what I would be in support of. I'm not necessarily in support of giving out money to very specific causes, and that's the only way that I think that that should be done. That's like a really specific thing that I, I, I that argument is impossible to defend because then we have to get into well, I should only donate to certain types of research while there are only certain majors that I should like that gets into like really weird areas that are like impossible to to, to really defend. So um, backing up. So are you familiar kind of, kind of like roughly with the idea of liberalism, basically freedom of speech, freedom to choose your life and job and all that shit, freedom of the press, all that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, so I'm generally, I, I'm pretty sure I, may, I would be considered a liberal. I'm, I'm pretty in favor of liberal principles, and I think that society probably operates the best and people can probably maximize their happiness, at least in the West, under kind of like liberal ideas. So that's what I advocate for in general. So from liberalism, I think you generally get things like education or your choice in choosing what you want to do as a job. Um, I don't believe that society should like prescribe a certain type of work to you and that we should only value certain types of college educations. Um, that that sounds like a really bad idea. I think that there's value in, in all types of education, um, whether it's art history or engineering or you know nuclear research or gender studies or whatever. I think that all types of education, people generally in, people in general being more educated is a good thing. And I think that all of these things contribute to building a better society. I don't like the idea of only funding certain things that are like immediately hyper relevant and then not funding things that might benefit us in other ways. I'd rather let people make those decisions on their own, right? Okay, so th that's kind of like my, so I, I don't think I would ever get into like specific things and like I would only ever fund this type of education. That seems kind of like a weird way to go about picking and choosing like who I would want to be funded for education or who, who I would want I to mean, be educated. Sorry. Okay, good. I mean, sure, but... I would also say that, I mean, we, we have sciences that are dedicated to understanding, for instance, how one should best allocate money like in a society for benefit, and we can apply that to these sorts of things, right? Sure, but I don't think that getting rid of all money for, away from like art degrees, for instance, that that benefits society, I wouldn't think so. I mean, society as a whole, I would agree with you, it wouldn't, but... Depending on where you are personally, it might benefit you, depending. Well, but then I feel like we're crafting bad rules for society. I think in general, I'd want to craft the best rules for society. It gets everybody invested in whatever program or whatever I'd be interested in. And, and I think it keeps everybody contributing. Uh, like, what do, do you think that like all the people that want to do like art as a major will just disappear and go become engineers or whatever if we just get rid of the art degrees? Like, No, they won't. Um, well, I mean, some of them will, I think, actually. Because, I mean... A lot of people will go into college and not necessarily know exactly what they want to do and sort of take the path of least resistance, right? So I think some of those people, you know, maybe maybe they like art and they do art, but then... Yeah, I guess. But then that's also kind of sad then that we basically are crafting a society where we say it's okay to force people to do things or pressure people to do things in some way that benefits society, even if they don't innately want to. Because then I feel like somebody could compel me to do something different. Like, I really enjoy streaming, but how much, in terms of, like, science research output, how much value do I offer to society with my job? Like, little to none. So should I be kind of, like, pressured away from doing what I do in order to be a researcher? I don't know. I don't, I'm not comfortable with crafting that role for society. I, I would agree with you, actually, on this, which is sort of why is, but this debate is getting into a, a weird territory. I agree. But, um, no, yeah, uh... I think it would affect the perception of the situation where it would be there is still value like in society for for instance good art uh, because people need to like have things to do after they've amassed all the material economic units to you know use for their benefit but I think especially nowadays there's a lot more uh, artists than like massively viewed art so you could have a system in which even though I don't necessarily support this um, you have I guess only like the very top tier based on whatever academic criteria you're going to use yeah okay so the so I try to look at society as like holistically as possible if I want to have like a realistic way um, in, in, in which society, societal rules kind of work. So if I create a society where I'm saying we're gonna value certain types of education more than other types, and then fuck you otherwise, I feel like that's a society that's gonna be really hard to get everybody invested in. So I think in general, I would avoid those types of things. And like picking and choosing the types of education I support, 
Sounds like a very bad way to have everybody feel invested in my system. Because anybody that's not like at the top tier of something they want to do, that I guess isn't deemed worthy by society, all of a sudden doesn't get to pursue that area of study. I mean, if they've got the money to do it, I mean, it should be up to them, no? Or if they've got the qualification to do it, or if they've got the desire to do it even. I mean, if we can provide the funds for it. Sure, yeah, I, I, I would say that. Um, so, the other point I was going to make, which may be more relevant here, is again... Like, you're explaining uh, very well, I think, how it would benefit society at large, but I still haven't necessarily seen the explanation for why this would benefit you personally. So, I mean, like, I want to live in a society where everybody is happy, healthy, and well-educated. I mean, being part of the United States means something more than being... Well, fuck, I don't want to get into a dickwag. But, like, rather than being part of, of, say, like, Estonia or something, which is a really quickly growing country, and I shouldn't bring them up, or, or, or some other, you know, like, country that's got, like, a fuck ton of issues or problems with education or something, right? Like, I would rather be part of a country where all of its people are well-educated, where its people are healthy, where its people don't commit crimes. Like, I think in a, in, in a in indirect ways, but in, in pretty observable ways, all of these things benefit me greatly, right? Like, I, I don't know, that just seems really... I don't want to say All right, yeah. but no, I, I um, you made a very good point, and it's it's a little awkward because I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily disagree with ninety nine percent of what we, uh, you said here. Sure. Except for like, except for the one thing. Um. Wait, what was the one thing? The veganism thing, but. Oh wait, yeah. so what do you disagree with me about the veganism thing? No, I I, I was trying to, I was trying to do the part of uh, the ask yourself debate that I, I thought should have gone differently because he had said initially that uh, there were, like, that, sure, the universe box situation is a total hypothetical. Wait, what is actually, the universe box situation again? Remember um, Would you when... Would the uh, universe or some shit if you could push a button or...? Yeah, like that. And that these people could not reciprocate or could not interact with you in any way, so they couldn't reciprocate. Oh, your... yeah, and I think I'd be indifferent. I mean, I, like, emotionally, I probably wouldn't end the, that universe because it feels kind of like a dick mode to do for no reason, but, I mean, I'd be indifferent to it, ultimately. I don't know. Right, yeah, but so the the reason why I sort of brought the other stuff I brought up up is because I sort of realized as that debate was going on that it wasn't actually that much of a hypothetical and there are situations in which there are people who can't reciprocate your... Well, in a very direct way, but I mean, indirectly, we're all pretty much connected to one another in this day and age. I mean, we're, this is where we live in a very fucking globalized society, right? Like, I'm sure if I were to go to check my subscriber accounts, most of my subs probably aren't even from the United States if I combine all the other regions, right? So, I mean, we're all pretty connected these days, I'd say, right? If we get to areas in twenty, in 10 or 20 years where, like, India or um, countries in Africa are becoming super connected to global markets, access to internet and whatnot, I mean, that can be more viewers for my streams and shit, right? Or for minority issues, right? If women are more invested in gaming and whatnot, maybe I'll have more than a 4% uh, female audience, you know? Maybe I could get, you know, t twice as many viewers or something if more women are invested in games. You know, I mean, like, there are ways that all of these things kind of roundabout benefit us, I would say. Pushes for minority yeah. entertainment, things like um, like Black Panther was arguably, some people could say, a, a large drive to that was because we wanted to see, you know, more black people in media, and I thought that movie was pretty cool, and it contributed to the Avengers and the Marvel Universe. Like, I don't know, man. It all seems like we're all pretty connected these days. You're not wrong, yeah. Um, but and this is also why I brought up the global warming example, even though it's not a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Um, but because there are also issues that will affect people in the future. The ones that uh, will affect people way out of my lifetime. Um, yeah, I don't know how you would ever deal with that. That gets hard. I don't know if you could ever justify it from an egoist point of view. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I mean, since since we're analyzing, I guess whether you are an egoist or not, would you personally try to invest in like far flung future issues? Um, I mean, if it has very minimal to no impact on my current life, maybe. But if it would have any detrimental impact to me, man, that would be a really hard sell. I don't know how you would ever get me invested in something like that. So, like, let's say for instance, you could contribute five percent of your tax dollars in order to do like a manned flight to fucking neptune i know neptune is a gas giant but say something like that but the flight wouldn't happen until 2150 i don't know if i'm ever investing any funds whatsoever in that i don't think i could ever you could ever get somebody like me invested in that yeah okay yeah in that case i suppose it's uh i suppose it's a consistent position um but the yeah the global warming thing is hard because like you know we want to think it's really far from the future but 
whew, I don't know, man. I mean, like, those seasons around the world are getting fucking hot as fuck. Like, it's hard to feel like that's only something that, um, is, like, far off in the future. I'm pretty sure we're seeing the effects of that now. Yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong. Um, I remember, I remember reading somewhere that, like, while it's, like, happening now, it's going to happen more, like, as things continue to happen, as gas continues to build up. Yeah. But... Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything, any other angle I could take this. Uh, well, I mean, I could flip it back on you. Why do you care about animals? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Uh, I care about animals because... I mean, I, I guess it's the same sort of thing as, as you wanting a society that is more... Uh, People have more investment in their role in that society. What, um, role in, yeah, but what what is what do you mean by that? Can you elaborate? Well, I, I'd say it's a sort of a base level preference for me. I think that uh, animals are uh, conscious beings that I value the existence of inherently, and as part of building, in some respects, I think. Uh, a society where uh, diversity of types of beings and uh, types of life are tolerated, I guess. So, like, and, do animals ever even... Are they even capable of existing in a society? Like... I mean, I would, I would think so. I mean, pets exist in society. Yeah, but we have pets now. I mean, they function basically as slaves, but we have pets now. I mean, we don't need, like, equal animal rights. Well, actually, if anything, I would argue... If unless we would have to get into weird areas of how much moral consideration does an animal get, because um, pets are, are pretty much like slaves, right? Like you purchase one and then you have it enslaved to you for the rest of your life until it dies. It's not allowed to leave your plantation or whatever your house, uh, except under your direct supervision. So I mean, we can do that. We already have those types of contracts in place now. I would argue that extending more rights to animals would make uh, those types of arrangements unethical. No, like shouldn't animals have like some evaluation process where they have the right to choose not to. I guess be a pet. <laughs> well, I, I'd say I'd say it's equivalent to what we do with the very young children, right? We, um, we... No, I I think it's far different there. Um, the difference being that we make decisions for children because we don't respect their autonomy until they're 18. But that's from a very consequentialist point of view. Our goal, our our thought process is that children don't have the capacity to make good decisions until they've reached a, an age of majority, whichever that age is, and depending on your country. But their freedom is heavily implied, not implied, is explicitly stated once they reach that age. Whereas animals are never working towards freedom or never reach an age where they have freedom. Sure, I, I could see that, but there are situations in which human children will never reach that stage. For example, if they're uh, very developmentally disabled. And sure, but that. again, that's the same kind of consequentialist outlook. That we're, we're only doing that because we feel like if left to their own devices, they would hurt harm themselves more. But you don't think that would apply to uh, pets, for example? Um, yeah, maybe, but I think it's a little bit different with pets because you're saying that, because that's true of like fully developed pets, like... I don't think anybody would be comfortable with a dog of any level of intelligence saying that it could just like live in the wilderness, right? So is that you're, you're essentially saying that all pets should be treated or afforded the same rights as all mentally retarded people? Or, or the worst mentally retarded people? When I say worst, I don't mean like bad people, I just mean people that are incapable of living on their own. Um, maybe slightly less, but um, yeah, like ar around that. Interesting, why? I mean, I would say, generally speaking, they're equivalent uh, in terms of, you know, the, the kind of capacity. They, yeah, but why they are you have. concerned with any capacity for, I mean, we'll get down to the root of issue in terms of the way that I hear it stated in the vegan discord is generally um, conscious beings or whatever, or sentient beings. Like, why why be concerned with a sentient being? Um. Yeah, that's, that's the one that, I, I, again, I don't think that ethics are like, inherently like i think you can have logical ethics but they can't be rooted in logic and i would say that would be are you wait are you part of that discord server um the ask yourself thing yeah I, technically okay because i hear this this sounds like um it sounds like one of isaac's propositions that um i don't believe in any type of um I don't believe in a real, like, moral fact that, he, that he'd say he's a moral anti-realist, but then he says, however, I can still be concerned with conscious beings, which isn't necessarily wrong. It's, I hear it a lot. I'm just wondering if that was the argument we were going down, but sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it pretty much was. Sure. Uh, I, Wait, it is true. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to belittle that argument. I mean, that's true. And again, there are people that know way more philosophy than me, that are way more intelligent than me, that 
um, would probably agree with you, so. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I don't know, like, a ton of... I know probably about as much philosophy as you. Okay. Maybe a little less, so sure. it's all good. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's basically my, my issue. My issue with the vegan thing is you're asking me to make a great personal sacrifice for something that that lacks com total justification, or lacks all justification. Um, that's kind of my thing that makes it really hard to sell me on the idea. Um, now, selling it to me, that on a personal level at least, now selling it to me on a societal level is, is quite easy. Like, I, I, for instance, for like vegan policies, I would probably vote for those just on the environmental impact at this point. Um, maybe even for dietary reasons, if you could compel all of society to buy into it because obesity and shit is a really big problem in the Western world. Um, but I, I would never make that sacrifice on my own if all of society wasn't because I'm never going to see the benefits of, of not eating meat in terms of like environmental impact unless all of society is forced to buy into it via some type of legislation, right? Law or penalties or something. All right, sure, yeah, and I think ultimately, even from an ethical standpoint, the environmental standpoint sort of engulfs the uh, the sort of straight ethical standpoint at some point, just because of how living in the world works in terms of you know the amount of things we kill. So, um, I think I I would agree with you that. That's probably better out to go down for like convincing the masses. I, I just sort of came on here because I just like I heard an argument that I heard like a thing that wasn't said. Okay, yeah, sure. I just, yeah, really. Okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, is that it? Or uh, I feel yeah, kind of sure. weird. Just... All right. Yeah, unless you have anything else you want to talk about, sure. I don't know. Uh, you want me to just like do a random word generator? We can talk about that. <laughs> No, that's okay. I think we're good. All right. Well, hey, uh, thanks a lot for the conversation, buddy, right? Hey, don't worry about it. Um, all right. Bye. Have a good night. You too.